Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming Reigns. Hi all, how are you all doing? I hope you're all well, sitting there with a cup of cocoa during this lovely, lovely time. Now let's let's play some Planet Zoo. We are back with Planet Zoo and you should see me uh, now. Hello, <laughs> how are you all doing? Right, so we're here with um, Planet Zoo. Yeah, it's, it's sort of great to, to be sort of back here really um, and last time we were here which was last week now um, we had started franchise mode we'd built um, just a quick sort of base sort of template really so if we come down here we have the big path coming into the zoo this will all be sort of like a plaza area where there'll be shops and stuff and then over here we sort of squared off our path in the end and we have just two habitats we have um, uh, a habitat here for some timber wolves because um, they're big drawers and then we also had the habitats for the gharials as well which again are pretty big drawers so yeah on the whole things are looking a bit crisper uh, here in our zoo which is which is sort of great news i suppose really um yeah so i'm pretty happy with that now um what we need to do today is we're going to expand we're going to hopefully bring in some more um creatures and some more animals today um so that's the plan um i hope everything sort of sound wise is okay uh i've had a bit of a change in the rig so that uh, hopefully the stream goes well i didn't save in all of my profiles on obs and that's the recording software so that all had to be redone um but it's it's good now as you can see i've got a little change in the camera thing in the corner which is great it's great it's great to be down here um, so, really, what we're looking at today is hopefully trying to get two more habitats in place. Uh, one that's going to be sort of here and around here, and another one which I think could take out the whole of this um, to start off with. Like I said, really key at the beginning of the game to just sort of generate as much moolah as possible. So that's what we're going to do. Generate moolah. Now, let's get in. Uh, we want to build some barriers. Uh, we'll still use the wooden logs because they're sort of acceptable. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. Nice, we've got that pretty much spot on. Um, and you'll notice I had to change the path over here. So I squared the path off a little bit and gave it a little bit more um, sort of, I guess, definition. Um, instead of this curve, it's a bit more square-like. Um, so we're going to do the same to this one, actually, um, just so we can get this in properly. Um, so I'm going to... I think get rid of that, 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 and that. And then we're going to align this to this grid. One, two, three, and four, maybe? And then, oh crap, deselect grid. Oh crap, this is all going wrong. And then align this to a grid. One, two, three, and then I think just join them up. Uh, it's probably, is it eight meters? No, it's a seven meter because I really wanted to piss around with seven meters. There we go, dead straight T-junction and then remove that and that. And we should get the similar curve as what we got over there, which is good. That sort of looks uniformed and looks to be in the middle as well, so that's good news. And then really we just need to discover where the curve came from, which is there. And there we go, that's now straight. And then we're going to align to grid here. Go straight. Great. Deselect grid and then align to a grid again, but here. And then we'll join these up with a seven and that'll be dead straight there. Nice. So you'll notice we haven't done anything special in terms of we've not done any viewing platforms or anything like that. And I, I feel that we will tackle in the next episodes the individual um, the individual sort of habitats. Um, a little bit later on. So right now, the key is to get them in, get them happy, get milking them for money and for uh, conservation credits because they're going to be very important. And once we've done that, we can then look at, you know, sort of shaping their habitat to be a little bit better. Uh, sorry about the pixelation there. So yes, that's the plan. So let's get uh, some more barriers in. And some wooden ones go like that. Lovely. And then what we'll do is we could probably... If we grab that, move that there, grab this, and move that there. 
Yeah, struggling with bandwidth again today, which is a bit of a problem when you're playing a game over GeForce now. Well done to NVIDIA for <laughs> making my stream look perfect, as always. And you know what, for the most part it's been a really good system, but GeForce now sometimes wants to mess around. Now I said I'd do in two habitats here, I am, I'm just... You can, you can sort it out in a minute. I'm just gonna fix it and just make it look okay. So where's that? Is that the middle there? Nice, and that's gonna be the middle there. Bring it around here. Can we make it a bit smaller? Lovely, lovely. Make it a bit smaller. We can make it look a bit nicer in a minute. Come this way. And we'll attach to there for now. Uh, we will change how it's sort of shaping out. I'm wondering why it's misperforming so badly. One second. Normally it's very good. There we go. Hopefully we've sort of re-established ourselves there a little bit. Uh, multiple animals are not at their idea temperature range. So the Gariel, it's got a bit cold here, and not very happy at that temperature. So, where are we? Gariel, can we pause the game? So, let's click you, environment. We haven't got enough water, that's because we you just had some babies, I think. Um, but normally, is it environment? Yeah. Oh, great, okay. Zupedia, then. It's always the easiest way. There's only 200 in the wild. We, we, we can end up with 200 very quickly in here. Um, so, natural habitat, 14 to 42 is very important for these. So we're going to need some heaters in this habitat, I think. Um, oh, the pixels are really playing up here, aren't they? Bit of a pain when you're... Might have to relook at this in a minute. See what we can get out of it. Let's get that heater in. There are contingencies today if we can't get things as we want. So we've got to be careful because they are pretty, they've got a pretty big range. And Timberwolves don't mind the cold, so. Yeah, well, it's got a huge range, isn't it? Should we put that one there, maybe? There we go. Well, I guess we can reduce the range, right? Yeah, we can. So if we put this so it's at. 14 degrees and that one there so it's 14 degrees I think that should be okay we can reduce the range it makes it a little bit cheaper to run I suppose can we why is it that's silly I would expect it to is it because I'm not playing the game yeah there we go So the range needs to be slightly bigger than that. 16? 15? 15 seems to be a perfect range. That one's got a range of 20. Actually, we should probably yeah, get a full 20 actually there. Where's this heater gone? It's on the tree there. We can make it the full 20. It doesn't quite stretch over to the other one, so they should be happy with that actually. Um, and yeah, we've sort of solved a problem. The timber walls will be loving this. They won't mind this temperature one bit. They will be very happy and very pleased. Um, so I guess it isn't. It should be under environment their temperature, but it's not. I'm assuming that's fine. So, what's my or exhibit problems? There's three issues. The feeders, which I don't know what the issue is with them. Bedding, which I don't really know what the issue is. It seems to be... Maybe it's just not enough stuff. It says multiple problems, but... What's wrong with them? It has moderate welfare issues. Social, space, habitat, temperature still. But I fixed the temperature problems by putting a heater in. Can we put another one in here? Oh, 
we put a couple more in. I don't want them to push over too much to that side. Is, have I not put a high enough temperature? Did I not read it properly? We click on here, go to the animal again. Go to, mm, oh, it doesn't matter, just click on one. We'll do. So, the temperature animal's still too cold. So I guess 13 is not good, so should we just go up to 21? Push that up to 21. He's actually at 30. So can we put that to 21? That one up to 21. And then these up to 30, that's for sure. 21. And this one to 21. And that should bring the temperature up a little bit. And yeah, instantly happier. That's good news. Now we have had a facility that's broken down, so... Oh god, it looks awful. Let's put a mechanic on that. Probably won't want to hire a new mechanic. Um... Because that's not good at all. Um, staff. Because we only have the one mechanic anyway. There we go. And straight to work on that facility. And then we've got research, which is done on the timber walls, which are good. So maybe, I think we have got, oh, our mechanic research. It's nice to know that instead of actually fixing things, they've decided I'm just going to do what I want, so that's fine. If I miss the comments today, um, by the way, um, then I apologise. Um, it's not that I'm not looking, um, but I'm not. Um, it's actually because um, I, I sort of can't. I haven't got my second screen set up yet, so it's sort of waiting for that to get sorted. But one, it will be there soon. Um, but it shouldn't matter too much. So what we've got here, um, we've unlocked Africa theme, that's good. So let's get you on to the Arctic thing, why not? Um, our timber walls have all gone inside, which is absolutely fine. Um, we were in the middle of doing a barrier, weren't we? Yes, look at this, lovely. So, my thinking here is, is if we get the barrier here, and we add again, and hopefully, the one, two, three, four, and we can attach to that. There we go, lovely. A little bit dishevelled, but oh well. It looks okay. So here we have a nice, big, um, beautiful area. So we're going to edit the barrier. We're going to move this barrier. It's going to come to there for a minute. It's not ideal for that one, I know, but don't worry. We're going to join that up like that. Move this down to here. We're going to grab that and move that to there. I'm going to take this one, move it. We can move it to there, then we can move that one. No, we can't. Control Z that. It's too close to the gate. Where's the shortest we can go with this? Okay, I'm not too worried about that. Can we get a gate in there? Yes is the answer. I don't mind it looking like that and having that small bend in, that doesn't bother me too much. What we do want to make sure is this looks semi-nice, because <laughs> it doesn't right now. Um, let me grab that pole, get the barrier. Straight against there. Mm -hmm. It really isn't good, is it? It's good. 
Okay, there we go. I think we've got it there. Nice. And then, I don't mind keeping that there. We can put up a couple of plants there. Yeah, I don't mind that there at all either. So, on the whole, that looks fine. The only difference here is... This would need to come here. Nice. This one. Controls in. The fences and stuff are a bit finicky on this game sometimes, but that's okay. You just have to sort of keep trying and plugging away and you'll get there in the end. Can we grab that? Yes is the answer. We'll grab that one and move that to there. And then we'll move that to there. And then we'll move this, I'm hoping, to there. Lovely stuff. So here we go. So we've built two habitats now, which is good news. Um, we need to attach a gate to this one, which I'm going to do now. And I'm going to put it there. There we go. Nice. So we should have uh, habitat four and habitat three. There we go. So we're ready to actually get a couple of more animals. Now the bad news is we don't have many CCs, so we're probably going to have to rely on a bit of moneying here. So let's have a look. Do we have any? Expensive Siberian tigers. Let's have a look. Probably not. If we're lucky, if we're lucky, if we're lucky. Oh, we could get a female in. <laughs> just, just a female. Because there won't be any cash distance for these bad boys. They go pretty quickly. Yeah. We could refresh the list. The VIP guest. Oh, it's me. <laughs> good for you. It's so good. I need conservation credits. I don't want to see my face. There we go. Right, timber wolves. We've probably got some more stuff for them, but no, I'm not worried. We need to get another animal in the zoo, and a zoo, an animal that's going to make us money. Lots and lots and lots of money. Let's have a look. So, uh, what's the bad Bengal tiger? Yeah, no chance. <laughs> Worse than the other one. Let's go on there. Oh, look, you can get some really expensive Bengal tigers. But you can also get some cheap ones. Now he's got a fertility thing, so we could probably grab him. Adopt. Nice, that's good. And then we've got this young female. She hasn't got a fertility. Uh, not very good fertility anyway. You've got good fertility, have we got enough? No, not quite. That's frustrating. Do we do we get this one in and hope they breed? Yeah, she's old, but oh well. I've done it now, haven't I? Um let me put that on mute. Does it vibrate all the whole time? So there we go. There we go. So at least we've got two Bengal tigers, which is quite nice. And that's gone into the trade centre, hasn't it? Yeah, of course I have. Um, so let's move you into the quarantine. And let's move you into quarantine. So we should now have two tang uh, two Beng Oh. Did I? I got two different tigers, because that's a problem. Can we sell her? <laughs> um, did we pay that for her? I don't think we did. Oh, they're now over here. Obviously, they're in quarantine. Um, we got. I thought I swear that when we were searching, we filtered. Ah, uh, why the Bengal tiger? Ah, oh, have I selected Siberian tiger as well? That's why. Silly Billy. So, either way, uh, these two aren't fertile, which is bad news. Um, that one is a male. And that one. Wait, let's go back to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We can do this. So, let's go back down to. Someone's watched that and gone, what an absolute island. Let's click that. So, the females, we've got some female Siberians here. She's really, really... But I think we need a male Siberian. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Oh, what a shame. That's a beautiful animal. Um, okay, so let's have a look. What, we don't actually have it in storage, do we? It's in quarantine. So, if we go to our zoo... Thank you very much. To lovely stuff. And we go to animals, and we... Have a look at them. So we've got a Bengal tiger that's in quarantine, uh, which I think is the one we're going to end up selling. 
Oh, he's an Oh dear, we've got the male Bengal. I think the female Bengal would be easier to acquire. So I think we get rid of Valentina. Sorry, Valentina, you, you, you literally have been with us such a small time. Um, so we're going to send you to storage. Did we put her in the right place? Yes, we did. And then we're going to trade you. So we can trade you for 268, but we might not get that. She's the best of a bad bunch, to be fair. Or we could release her to the wild and make a loss. No, let's try and flip her so we can try and get some money in. So we'll go 300 and we'll put it in the trade. And we'll see whether or not... Unable to trade an animal adopted directly from the frontiers. Oh, great. Okay, <laughs> that changes things. Um, okay, well... Did we get him from the same place? Uh, send them all to storage in the trade centre. Where did we originally pick them up from? It normally tells you. Because if we go trade, he was actually quite cheap. And we go, let's just say 200 to trade. No, we, we got him from the frontiers as well. Uh, we can just sell him on. There we go. This isn't ideal, but we've got to do it one way or another. So we've got Valentina, which is a shame because we can't get anyone else in. Um, so hopefully, my thought is, we can try and make some money from the other animals. So, because we need another Siberian tiger, and there's a male going for 260, that's so frustrating. Oh, please. You're joking. Oh, right, well, we're going to have to leave it a minute, because we're going to have to try and grab in... A couple of animals that we might have available to get rid of. So let's click on this uh, habitat. Let's get to animals. So we should. Uh, we've got three pups and we've got a, a father and a mother. So it's difficult to know what they'll sell for without. It, actually, what you do is you click on it and then you. You can't release that animal to the wild anyway. And can we really shoot to the wild? Not that I'm going to, no. So that means they were bought for money. And not leaves. And then these guys. We could get rid of our male Garil only because well, have we got any males growing up in here? They do take a little while to get into get into age. Yeah, we've got a few couple of males coming through, but they're young. Young adult. Oh, oh, oh no, that is the adult. Um, yeah, these are all little baby garrows, so there are loads of them coming through there. Um, so it's a waiting game, unfortunately. We're not going to be able to actually... I could get one tiger in there, but they might get lonely. Um, it might be worth doing it just to get the money in, I suppose. You could do that. Yeah, let's go to animal trading. This is annoying, because uh, I think that she'll outgrow fertility. I don't know how long they're fertile for, but she's not that fertile to begin with. Let's move her in. Why not? Right, what we're going to do, though, before we do that, is we need to just make a bit of money from them. So what we're going to do is edit the barrier. So, oh crap, this and this. Uh, can we move that pole to the middle? This and that we're going to turn into glass, and then this and that we're also going to turn into glass. We're going to leave that, that's fine. Um, again, for the eagle eyed, I'm going to take that and put it into the middle, like so. Lovely stuff, beautiful. Now, what we want to do is money box the hell out of it because it's a tiger. So let's get our donation boxes in one, two, three, two on the corner, why not? There we go. Lovely stuff. <laughs> right, so we're sort of getting there now, we're sort of getting into place. So that's good. Uh, we could get some education in there, I'm going to hold off for that for a minute. Um, 
and we're going to fast forward the time and the clock just so we can get that tiger in. Right, so there we go. Now, we should get an influx of people in. Um, the tiger is going to be on their own. Now, they do they mind that social? Yeah, they're quite happy being on their own, actually. They don't care, um, which is good. In fact, they're really happy with everything apart from the terrain, the plants, and the enrichment. <laughs> So let's get that sorted for them. Um, so they've got a lot, uh, more than enough space, so the tiger's going to be absolutely dead happy. Um, they don't need water, so they don't really care about that. And they don't have a preference for climbing, so we don't need to worry about that. Although, let's be honest, tigers climbing on little climbing frames is adorable, so I'm 100% all over that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shape this a little bit, just so there's a little bit of... Uh, A little bit of uniquity to it. There we go, nice, that's nice, that's good. And then um, what I'm going to do again is go to my habitat. We can go to beds and shelters, and they're going to get a lovely big bed that they can go to. I'm going to clip it in, but without actually fully going in. There we go, very nice. I'm going to have a nice bed that they can go to. Um, Plenty of bedding. I do need to put bedding. Uh, exit that. I do need to put some more medium bedding in here because the garials I know weren't happy. So let's put some bedding in there. Right. So that's good news. We've got that up and running there for them. So they're quite liking that. Uh, what I am going to do is edit the shelter here. I'm just going to grab these two pieces and we're going to grab them. Let's just get the angle snap. One, two, oh, oh. actually it needs to be a little straighter than that, there we go, nice, cross here, and then we're going to do that again this time we are going to angle snap it rotate it and it's just so they've got a bit of privacy so they don't have to be constantly shown off nice tick and then grab that one and advance move it so it's in there a bit in fact I don't mind it being even crisscrossed over like that looks a bit like fractured wood it looks all right actually and just having a little gap there i don't know looks quite nice just gives it a bit of difference i suppose it'll probably all change anyway so i won't know too much uh, what we do need to do is get in this go to it's a siberian tiger definitely isn't it that we've accidentally bought um so let's get that in let's go to food and shelter large food tray and again the food trays you want them where the guests can see them and water pump can come here and I'm sure it'll be covered by going there. Lovely. I don't think we have any toys for them yet. We might have something, a little bit of luck here actually, which is nice. So we'll put a scent on the home mountain there. There's actually a rubbing pad which they'll quite like and the trick is to put the rubbing pads somewhere like there maybe. Uh, there's actually a lot of food related stuff they can have, so we can put a penguin there. There's some climbable logs. Um, a couple of boxes here and one on here as well. There we go, lovely stuff. So they've actually got a lot of enrichment. So we can press play now. I don't know how happy the tiger's going to be. We do need to put some plants in there, and they're not very happy. Um, right. The bad news is, uh, Keeper can't get there because of the work zones, which is fine. We can edit that now. So let's go to the zoo quick. We'll get in a new Keeper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically say to that Keeper, uh, if we go to our work zone, 
add a new work zone and this is going to be your there <laughs> do you know what I mean <laughs> I don't know what I mean what is that is that a staff room oh it is a staff room nice and for now you can also use that that hut I don't mind that that they use the same hut it, it, it eventually it'll be this one and this one but that's fine that they use it eventually we'll have a larger hut so I'm not too worried and we'll call that uh, the tiger work zone at the moment very very important tiger work zone very good stuff right so now what we should have is an oh we actually haven't associated him to that work zone tiger work zone there we go this one's a keeper I've just got an achievement how beautiful you'll see that we'll have an influx of people coming in now so guest turnout will be quite high here um, so that's good news now the tiger won't overly be happy um, it'll be the terrain but his welfare is actually really high his enrichments a hundred percent so that was convenient we already locked a fair few items um, oh guests think the tickets are on the price nice let's put that to seven and that's a six then I suppose make even more money for the new animal um, and let's get the terrain you need so what is it you want so you want um, a bit more short grass possibly um, you want soil and you want rock although you could live without all of that so let's go intensity 100 size 20 it's now too much but I will <laughs> let's get some soil right let's go now 12 five maybe um, so soil we can put all in his bed all around here not too fussed about that um, again he'll quite like that over there I mean it brings the short grass down um, doesn't want too much soil but I like putting it around the buildings anyway because it just shows that loads of people have been around there um, basically where they sort of go you can even be as sort of clever as if we can put the intensity out maybe maybe I need two there that looks a bit too big doesn't it but you can put around the edges so it looks like that's where they walk because they would spend a lot of time around places like that a dangerous animal's escaped yes capture it <laughs> oh, I emergency captured it it didn't matter I've <laughs> I forgot that the wooden the wooden um, fence is of course completely and utterly climbable so the tiger's taken 20 seconds to realize that and climb straight over it let's go <laughs> edit barrier we can um, to be fair we probably should put brick in for a tiger so I'm, I'm gonna do that it costs a little bit more um, but piece of advice would be let's just let's make it brick bricks not climbable so oh dear can you put him back please oh dear I can't check his terrain if he's not in there so absolutely hilarious I bet people crapped their pants anyway the tiger oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute another big problem so I'm assuming this is all climbable. Um, how do we check? Actually, we can click on the animal. Click on the animal and then click this and go habitat and traversable. He can't climb that. Okay. He can climb over the fence because we made that climbable. But this itself isn't climbable. So, yeah, he can't get up there. At the moment. As it stands. There we go, yeah, we're sort of happy. We sort of got away with that. Right, okay. Whew. Don't do that again. Right, so he likes. Um, oh, yeah, we were in the middle of doing his terrain. So it's too much long grass still. We need rock. So we can we can definitely get some rock in here. So change some of this to rockery. Um, get around the side here. Um, there's still too much long grass, so that's probably going to be this down here. You know, we can again make that light soil down here. And around here you'd have that anyway. 
Um, any more short grass we missed? Probably did down here. That, there we go. Put more down here. So he's sitting over there at the moment. He's not really interested in what's going on over here. But the good news is that's all in place now. Um, I'm going to fast forward the game because I want things to grow up over there. So we are going to try and rush going through that. This is our tiger's taking the up. We've fully researched the timber wolf. Well done, Amber. You need to go on the Siberian tiger now. Um, right, let's get nature. Let's get filters, biome, and temperate or tiger was probably aptly named, and then continent Asia, and fantastic. So uh, we can get these trees in, I suppose, or uh, ivy spread. They're like ivy here. Um, or we can get some Scots pine. They look quite nice, actually. Um, especially if we... That's quite a big tree, doesn't it? No, it doesn't matter too much. They are quite happy with it. And... There we go, we're going to... Nice bits of trees. Um, they're still not happy with the plants, so we probably want to get some uh, fern in, I suppose. Do they like fern? They do. Turn it one around again. Oh crap, not on the tree like that. Looks rough. There we go. So yeah, I think that there would be quite a lot of this down here. So we would. What we can do is grab that selection. Seen it together and duplicate and we can have it sort of everywhere around here really effectively what we're doing okay there we go right it's just building up a bit of a shrubbery area shall we say. And with this we can just copy it, we can rotate it and sort of gives the tigers a place, um, a built up area. And again now what we can do is sort of grab all that selection that we've done, um, all right, merge it to senior group and then duplicate that. And now we've got huge amounts of fern and I'm not too unhappy about that. Saves us a huge jump. And I'm going to turn this one off. Just looks like it's built up in that area a little bit. Now, how unhappy is the tiger? Are we, got, are we getting loads of. Yeah, loads of people are happy with seeing the tiger. Um, and, but it's still not happy with plants. Those are appropriate. want one of these trees? Oh yeah, you like that tree, great. Okay. Of course, the biggest tree in the game. <laughs> Is there... The Gariels have an offspring again. Um, I'm gonna. Well, I think the tiger's gonna be happy now if I can find the thing. Because that tree is in an inconvenient location. I think that can go there. Yeah, it just makes their 
back area look good. He is, look at this, 97% welfare. A very happy tiger. That's good news for me. Oh, there's a person there. Let's say hello to you because we get money. Um, high amounts of litter. Great. Well, that's because there's no bins. Um, I don't know what you want from me. I suppose you want bins. Um, good. The Arctic thing's been discovered, so that's good. Let's get you on India theme. Why not? Get as much unlocked as possible at this stage, and then we're in a good position. So. We should be getting plenty of donations from over there now. This is still a bit of an eyesore and we will change it up. We've got two creatures in here now, which is good. Um, the problem is, look at this. It's like a plethora of gharials everywhere. Actually quite disgusting to look at that there's so many. Um, <laughs> they're flying through that Siberian tiger research. Probably because they've already researched half of it anyway. So... Yeah, litter's a bit of a problem, um, but that's okay. We've got plenty of guests. What we need to worry about is the Garia's welfare, because the space is going to get pretty bad in here. Um, they're pretty happy with everything else. Um, so that's a three-year-old juvenile. When do they mature? Uh, if we go to the Zoopedia of them. So, fun fact. Um, so that's fine. Age of sexual maturity, 14. Great. Well, that's a load of good, isn't it? So, they're going to take ages to get to age. It would take some 14 years to get to sexual maturity. And that's the only problem with the Garials, I suppose. Um, which is quite fun. What we could do is we could put Gariels over here. Or we could just sell the mail. There is that. Because I reckon we could get money... Because I think we can sell them. Oh, there's not enough sand in there. It's quite young. And we don't need any more. <laughs> right now. I think we could probably send, sell them. Let's get rid of the mail out of there. We don't need him in there right now. Let's go to animal trading. Oh, Garion. Oh, we won't get much for him. May as well release him to the wild. We'll release him to the wild. There we go. There goes the mail, Garion. Get a bit of conservation credits for that. And then... Let's have a look. Just out of curiosity more than anything. So... Not Bengal. God, no, no don't look. Because I could buy a mail Bengal now. That would be stupid. Siberian Tigers. Filter. Yeah, a bit expensive. We'd need a male as well. Um, so that's not good. Right, so. Hopefully, the Timberwolves grow up at a more respectable rate. And we get sort of more... So they're juvenile. When... Is that maybe say yeah there we go so adulthood he's halfway to adulthood so that's good news so hopefully they just continue mating um, and we rely on that so we won't rely on getting another tiger in. when do the tigers stop being able to make love should be okay I, I, it, it might be touch and go. But we've got a tiger in and people will be happy about that, so that's fine, I suppose. That's good news. And the tiger's happy, and that's the most important thing, that our animals are happy. Um, you can see already they will make a... Oh, that's already got a grand in it. Ha! Ah. Um, but donation boxes everywhere are a good thing. Bins everywhere are a good thing too, and we should be putting them down everywhere. What I am going to do is get a couple of benches. Uh, we're using those benches. Just for now. Oh, crap. Crap. And then, and then let's get some bins in place. Uh, normally go up in a bench is normally a good option. We'll put a bit in the middle there. 
So there should be bins all around there, even though they're not really following them. But probably the issue we've got here is... Yes, our timber walls are about to mature, which is good news, because that means... Sell! Mm, oh yeah, there's a lot of crap here. That's probably why they're getting a bit angry. Um, what happens if I have play now? I've lost sound. I hope you haven't. No, you haven't, so okay. Um, oh, I'm a bit dark, aren't I? And my light's not on. Sorry, it was sunlight before, so that's why that happened. Okay, how's that? Can you all see me? Probably lower the brightness. There we go, how's that? You can all see me now, can't you? So that's good news. Um, let's be honest, that's all that matters. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so what do we have here? We have... Let me go back to the game. Brilliant. So we have bins now. Hopefully our janitor will get around to cleaning all that rubbish up because there are high amounts of this and we need to clean up. Um, the good news is, is we have a, a timber wolf that's now matured. So that's Emma, she's a lady. That's Watkins, that's a great name, that's Jackson. Um, I think I came up with that probably in the last stream. Uh, Tana, you're a bit old. Ravon, you're the lady, aren't you? So you, let's have a look at your jeans. Oh, you're a pretty good all-rounder, but I'm going to sell you because I can. So let's immediately send you to the thing. Very Tiger King-esque this is. Although Timberwolf King is more out. And then let's... Oh God, you're not worth very much, are you? Well, could you not be worth a bit more? How much are they going for in the market? Probably not a lot, that's why. Um, Timberwolves... Oh, you can pick them up really cheap. <laughs> Um, you can get him for £100. We could, we could price him in here and he'd definitely go, I think, for £100. They're, you can get some really expensive ones, but... Is he any good? I don't think he's any good. Oh, dear. Well, hopefully... Should we price him at £30? 30 £30. And we'll do that. There we go. And hopefully she goes. Um... We can only dream. Um, so, is that the only pup? Yeah, so Ravon's the only pup that's matured thus far. We only have five in there, so Jackson would be next. And Jackson's going to be a little out. Yeah, just a little out at the minute. So that's fine. Right, so we've got four animals in there. In here we've just got a dead load of gharials, which... Quite frankly, none of them are even close to maturity. There's actually too many. Um, we can spay the female. Um, so, yeah, we're going to apply contraceptives. We don't want her having any more. Um, we don't need it right now um, because we haven't got any space to house them anyway. Um, so that's good news. And then that tiger there uh, on its own, but it's very happy and very, very popular. Um, so that's good news. So we do have another place here. Um, we will keep an eye just in case the Siberian tiger comes up cheap. And if we can get a cheap Siberian uh, male, then we're in business, really. Um, let's apply no filters, but then go back down. Siberian tiger filter. And we'll keep an eye out. And then if a male comes in at a good price, we'll, we'll chuck our hat at it. But... Right now, 600 is the cheapest sort of mail, and that's a bit of a problem. There was one for like 150 before, so hopefully we can see one, or, or about 250 before, and that's closer to where we're probably going to end up being. Um, so that's good news. Um, yeah, so I suppose the other thing we could do is get more animals in here for actual sell them like for actual money. Oh, we've got some more research. Fantastic. Great. Good for you. Um, did we shake hands with you? Yeah, we already did. 
it's important to say hello to visiting players. So we're going to have a look and see any species. And goodness me, some lions for sale there. Um, and we're going to put them on cash listing. And let's see what we've got. So I, I don't need to do it in that order. There we go. So cash listings. Let's have a look. So we want oh, we can get some Arctic wolves. They would be good draws, and I bet they would mate. But they're all males, so they wouldn't. Let's have a look. Have a look. Bongo. That's cool. We can get some capuchin monkeys. The uh, pangolins will do quite well if we can get a. I don't know whether they actually do well or not. There's only oh, there's a female there. We could adopt the female and adopt that male. I don't know whether are we allowed more than one Chinese penguin. Uh, up to three females. Yeah, they're quite happy with that. Um, sexual maturity in a year, and they die, and then that's it. <laughs> But the good news is, uh, gestation incubation period eight months, into birth period twelve months. Reproduction in captivity is difficult, apparently. Great. Well, let's give it a go. We've we've got two in, so let's let's see what we can do with them. I suppose uh, we should have probably got that other male to give us a bit more of a chance. So can we get the where are the Chinese pangolins? Oh, and there are any males left. Are you any good? Oh, you're very fertile, so let's get you in. Great. So let's grab our Chinese pangolin. What we need to do is very much make sure they've not got diseases. So all of them need to go into quarantine. And once they're in quarantine, we can move them out. Once they've gone through that process. Um, but that's good news. So, uh, are there any more females? There's another male. Oh, again, really good fertility. We can have up to three, so... Oh, there's a female in there now as well. And she's fertile, so we'll grab her. And was that... Was there an... There was an ultra-fertile male there as well, wasn't there? So should we get that one in? Oh, we've already got that one. Oh, we've already got that one. Okay, weird. It's in the trade centre. Let's just put you in there. I don't understand why Rumai is still there, but I've got Rumai. Fresh list? Weird. Don't quite know what's going on there, but either way, we've got what we need. So. Oh, lovely. Don't just love it when a plan comes together. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you wish to, you can make a donation um, using the link below. Let's have a look. Oh, God, the tiger made a noise and scared me. Um, we're just waiting for the quarantine to come out for those. Still high amounts of litter. Um, so what I might do is, rather craftily, uh, can we hire a caretaker? And we just dump him here. Go the right way. Make the right decision in life. There we go. So there we go. We've got another caretaker to do the right thing. So, excellent. Um, so our pangolin is ready to come out of quarantine. So we're going to move it into here. It's going to be its new. This is going to be far too big, surely, for him. Um, we could probably halve this. But I don't know how much space they need, so we'll soon find out. And I will have it if they don't need all the space in the world. So they do mate, but the chances of us getting anything from them mating straight away is highly unlikely. Now, what I am going to do is just quickly get it a staff facility get another keeper hut actually 
want to build it on that building. Edit. Facilities. Keep hut. And we'll put it there, why not? And then that keeper hut is we're going to go to the zoo, keeper, hiring a keeper, there we go, and zoo staff, keeper with no work zone, you're going to get that, that, and that. Chinese pangling works on there we go. Nice. So your job is going to be purely for that. That's good. That worked quite nicely. And look how diddy they are. Can we just pause the game a second? <laughs> They're so small. These will not need all the space in the world. So no, they won't at all. So what we could do. So I'm not too worried about that. Donation boxes, very important. One, two, three, and four. Click at one of these little guys. And then what we want to do is do their environment. So they ain't got any hard shelter, so let's get in the basics first. So get rid of the Siberian tiger, get that, go to species. Go to the Chinese pangolin. And we don't have any food that we can give them, but we can give them some scratch posts here. So let's give them one there. Let's give them a small ball we can put there. Can we put a gift box enrichment? Nice, let's put that there. And then uh, let's go food bowl, large, we'll put that there. Water pipe. Uh, we're going to put that there. Lovely. So they're at least going to be happy with that. What we need to do is get rid of all this long grass. Now they are big fans of soil, so let's ensure we give them what they want. Do a much better job than that. Oh crap. To be fair, we can go from the soil and work our way up here. Oh. We actually got that right. If we can just lower the size down there. Have that sort of... There we go. That horrible dirty colour. Um, they need hard shelter, so let's make sure we give them some of that. And in this instance... I'd quite like them to have a nice, loving little shelter. Um, and what we're going to do with this is... Just need to be that big. We can get rid of that. We can duplicate that. Mm. 
Nice, and if we can grab, edit, one and two, duplicate the move, and we're going to do something a little bit different, 45 degree angle it. Lovely stuff. So, I don't know, it's something different. You can't see them over there, so that's quite nice. And yeah, looks brilliant. Perfect. Yeah, we need some bedding for them though, that's important. So let's get that in there for them. Some medium bedding. I don't want its position snap, so that's fine. I don't know whether they will walk up there. I probably won't be able to. Plenty of bedding for them. Uh, they'll now have food, and yeah, hopefully they can enjoy a little bit of peace if they want to too. So that's good news. Still got high amounts of litter, which is strange. So there's some around here, apparently. It's been vandalised. You rudeness. There we go. That should be better. Place that. That should be fine. Absolute awful people vandalising my park. We've still got some litter around here, but I'm sure we'll get to that. There are bins there now, so that should help. Right, you've done the tiger now, which is great. So can you get onto the pangolin, please? Because they don't have any food enrichment. What we also need to do is click one of these little things and give them the plants they want. Because right now, they don't have any plants, and we need to do that. So they're Asian tropical, which would make sense. So Asia, get rid of that. Biome and tropical. And then what we can do is get some... Do they like bamboo? Not massively. Do they like ferns? Not really, but... Won't do any harm, I suppose, having a couple of ferns there. Um, do they like these? Move that into that. Oh, look at that bit of colour. How rare. Uh, do they like apple trees? Yes, they do. That one. What I quite like the idea of is sort of having a game, sort of. We can even put that in there like that. It's sort of having the game sort of hide the bedding area, so where they actually go to bed is completely protected. Those trees actually aren't doing anything for them. I thought it would. Are they more into... because we've gone tropical. Are they actually more into the temperate side of things? We'll find out when we find something they actually like, like a mangrove tree. Oh, they do like mangrove trees. Of course they do. So we can put a mangrove tree towards the back. Um, that's fine. And we can cheat with the mango tree and use that. Some bushes there. Nice. Um, yeah, a little, little... Oh god, that's awful. Uh, do they like this bush? So actually, it says there that it's an unsuitable plant, right? But it really, really boosted up their numbers, that mangrove apple tree. Weird. Not quite sure why that does that, this game sometimes. But it is a suitable plant, because they quite like it. Unless they don't. And then that is definitely an option. Let's go tempo. And so filters... Biome, temperate. Oh, that was it. Okay, we can get rid of this tree then. <laughs> and we can put these trees in. Because these trees, they like them. It's the same. We can put that there. Do another one there. Nice. And move this one this way, like so. We've got plenty of trees back there that they can enjoy. Um, they do like these still. 
but they'll be pretty super happy with what we put in now. No, we need more coverage. And um, so... Uh, we can put another one over here, I suppose. In with that. A point like that. And then we can use its bushes as a bush. Now we can turn it that way, get it down there. Get it down there. We'll grab that, move it down. There we go. So, how happy are they? They're pretty happy. The social group was too many adults in it. Um, so apparently... Yeah, adult population, they don't like being too many of them. Great, of course they don't. Oh, I found the socials good. Are they, on the whole, happy though? We want them breeding, so I don't really care about their welfare. Um, yeah, let's try and get these things bred. So, I'm happy with the adult group. I'm happy that there are three males that can have pop at one female. And, yeah. And they're about to mate. God, please. We need some success here. So if they mate, this could be good news for the zoo. And I don't think they were successful. Because it would say that she's pregnant. Great. How sad. What an unbelievable fail that was. But the good news is, is the mechanic's still cracking on with the job. Uh, so that's nice. Anything you need to classic theme? Yeah, get that one in. Right, so there we go. So, we now have four habitats instead of two. Which is good news, I think. I think we're... We, we're sort of getting there now slowly. So four habitats instead of two. Uh, we've bought in a tiger, a Siberian, not a Bengal, even though that was confusing. Um, so we bought in a Bengal tiger and we um, bought in some Chinese, whatever they are. Chinese pangolins. Are they pangolins? I think they're pangolins. I don't know. It works either way. Um, so yeah, that's gone overly quite well. Um, so we'll take that any day of the week. Um, I think I'm just going to have a look. They're going to try and mate again. Have a bit more success this time would be great. So they're sort of cuddling. Our male and our female. The good news is the, there's a plenty of males in here. The question is, did she... Did he get lucky? Is he going to go again? I don't think we've been as successful as we want to be no so that's a shame um, that might happen a lot I can only imagine that it will uh, we have got some vet research which is good news we're gonna need a couple more I think before we get any food enrichment from it we can get another animal in we have gone up to 188 now what it might be worth checking very quickly to see if we have got um, well, we could get another male in I suppose but no we don't want to really upset them so we want to uh, reset the filters and go back to our Siberian tiger. Again, they might be too expensive. They are absolutely ridiculous. So we needed them before. It's like everyone started watching my stream and going, do you know what? You want a male Siberian tiger? Here's one for you. 800 euros. <laughs> Oh, you're all right. I'm not spending eight hundred pounds on a, a eight hundred conservation credits on a Siberian tiger. What's that one? What's wrong with that one? Animals approaching old age. I I love that. I'd love that in this in this zoo. Um, but Hadian is a very good tiger, but we just can't get him because these are all people that are putting him on. And how dare actual people get involved? They're not in order. Oh, actually, no. There we are. Uh, but these females are females, and we want a man. We need a male. So these are ones put on by the game, Frontier Zoo. So Frontier price tigers at this price. So that's what we need to look for, but we need to look for males and not females. So they've just, no, that's from someone. So 471 is the going rate. So we need to wait until Frontier put more on in like the Frontier zoo and then we can hopefully grab one for 200 odd 
things. We just have to keep an eye on them. Still large amounts of litter that someone's kicked a bin over. Like, you have to be a vandal. And there's loads of litter here. I'm, I'm not really sure why. We've got two caretakers in. Uh, they've got a high workload. No, I guess we'll get another one in. We've got loads of money in now, so that's good news. It means we can sort of expand, but we can't do too much expanding until we get some conservation credits. Now, what I might do, everybody, what I might do is, because um, your franchises, they all link up, so what I might do is set up sort of a, uh, another zoo where I can just start breeding animals. Um, uh, we can do that. We, I can maybe turn it into a series, because you can do breeding zoos. Um, this is sort of a breeding zoo, um, but it's it's n it's not necessarily um, because in a breeding zoo it would be a bit more like literally there's your box, there's your perfect terrain, there's your plants, you know minimum welfare, get to breeding, and then we'll just breed out and then you'll move them to different pens and stuff. So it very much is a you know a full-on breeding project, and we can do one of those sort of videos which shows you how to do that and stuff. Um, we do want this to look semi-aesthetically pleasing, um, although it, some of it will change, viewpoints will change, where people um, you know, can see the animals and stuff like that will change. And we'll end up sort of making it look okay, nice and pretty, but at the same time we will want to... Um, we'll probably want to change a couple of this and maybe that'll just be one habitat as opposed to two. But that's a long way to go. Like we might take down that wall, it'll all be Gariel there, and there'll be a couple of viewpoints to make it look pretty, and also look just some nice sort of surrounding. Now, um, one of the things we won't be doing very well on here um, is education. So we can set that up. There's the penguin grate. Did it unlock food? Oh, to be fair, it has food level lock. Toy enrichment. So we don't actually get a food in. Oh, we did. We got a food enrichment level one. Oh dear. What did we get? Uh, enrichment. Ah, oh, it's like a pit. Okay, that's cool. That can go near the front, actually. These work quite well. Uh, that can go sort of here. I'm not a big fan of them, but I want them to move. There we go. It can go there. They will enjoy that. They're about to mate again. It's these two. Was we successful this time? No, but a timber wolf, get in, Jackson. So, should we keep Jackson as the male? I, I don't know whether. Let's. Oh, not pause, play. Let's go on here. Is he a good male? So, that's the. That's Emma. She's getting older. She's actually matured. So. We could sell her on. Because she's matured now. The thing is, we can't make money from her. We can't make money from Tanner either, and he's quite old. So we might actually need to keep... Um, to be fair, we've got two males. Which one's the better one? Jackson, I think. I think we let Watkins go. So we send Watkins off. We need a female in here. We can buy one for cash. So I'm not too worried about that. And then we send Emma and Tanner off. Would be my thing. They can they can live there till they die. Actually, I'm not too worried. Um, but the good news is, let's get you. Um, I I'll release you to the wild. Not too worried, Watkins. Off you go. We get a nice, get a nice bonus for you. Um, and then let's go back to animal trading. Let's just check Siberian tigers. Yeah, look. Ah, to be fair, that's a frontier zoo one. Uh, 392. 330, someone was selling one, but it's not fertile, so that would literally be useless. But it's, it's, it's not fertile, it's fertility gene is 0%. I think it can still breed, but it's just not got a very good fertility gene. So if it did breed, it would do, it would fail. Um, but, yeah. Still kind of waiting for a, for a good one to come up. I do want to go timber wolves, because we probably need to get a female in. Uh, they're all male, of course they are. There's some good males there. <laughs> Watkins is who we've just sold. Um, that was literally our. Wait, it was definitely our zoo, wasn't it? 
I swear that was ours, Watkins. That was his name, wasn't it? I'm not going. I'll have to look that back. Um, but we could do with a female. Not that any of them right now. Um, but yeah, because we haven't. We're down to three in there, which is fine. We're probably going to want to sort that out. But oh well, not an issue. What we are going to definitely need to do is because right now the education's going to be. Atrocious. We will get some small animal exhibits in as well, uh, habitat uh, things in. In fact, they're, they're sort of cheeky ones because you can end up um, making quite good money from them. Can you not do conservation credit lessons on those? No. Oh, I never knew that. Cool. Um, anyway, we needed to get. Sorry, I was so distracted. There. We need to get education. Uh, let's get this in. Uh, put you there. Let me turn you on. Siberian tiger, look. Everybody, look, it's a Siberian tiger. Come here and buy. And grab that and that. Group them together and check it. Put you there. And then what we need is facilities and an education speaker. And I'm going to put it on the top of the wall because it tends to be a pretty good point to put it and duplicate that it's a little crossover so we'll just range that down to 10 or 9 whatever it's still going to bring in some education now so that's important um, the inspector won't be happy, it'll already been there. Who's the inspector? Can we see who the inspector is? Ah, he's just been to... There you are. You're the zoo inspector, you're leaving. Very happy with everything though. Five star for the habitat for our tiger. He was very happy, a very happy tiger. I'm starting to get nervous that we're going to miss... It's just going to turn out blue. Um, and we might be good to sell her, but I, I don't know. Oh, it's difficult to think. They didn't breed fast enough. No one did. Not even the, the Chinese pangolins didn't even bother getting pregnant yet. They just took their time. I think it's... Yeah, whatever. Either way, that'll do for now. We're going to leave it there. Um, we've got lots of money in the bank, so we can definitely start looking at making some lovely little changes. But for now, that'll do. Maybe in the next episode... Oh, we've got a VIP guest. Quick, that's 20 points. I'll say hello. Yes. So wait a minute, we have 220. If there is a god... Is there a female there? Are you any good? Yeah, well, I adopt you. Uh... Firstly, sorry, distracted. Timberwolf in there. God, if I've missed a 220 pounds Siberian tiger, I'd be livid, wouldn't I? Anything can happen. No, not quite. We need a male. Ah, oh, 330. That's a good price, though. Well, that's the non-fertile one, so 400. So we're not we're not too far off. We can definitely look at getting that in the next episode. I think we will. Um, the female. I don't. Do they? Are they fertile until death? I, oh crap, no, don't do that. Zoopedia. We'll find out here. Uh, up to one, yeah, you can only have one there. Uh, confident relationship with humans. Turn that to Joe Exotic. Age of sexual uh, sterile. Oh, they don't know. Number of offspring per mate, one to four. And they breed pretty easily. So the answer is they don't know. So it might be okay in elderly age. Why not? Could be good, I suppose. She left the zoo yet? Probably not. Oh, don't have a, don't have a bin. Who looks over a bin? I can't even repair it. Absolutely. Ah, oh, no, he's ha he was just about to go and fix that. He's a bit weird. Um, right. We're gonna leave it there. So in this episode, we built over here. We will look to expand it and get a couple more animals in in the next episode. And what I'll also look at doing 
is um, building a sort of area, sort of like a sort of a building, just like welcome here, zoo, um, to cover this because right now this is sort of a central hub for our um, habitats. We can build in a nice building here as well to connect to all this. Um, so a nice modern building um, for these stores. Um, but eventually these stores will move further down the plaza. We'll have some more animals and creatures coming off here anyway. Um, that's the big plan, but that's a long way off, I think. Right now, I'm happy that we have this amazingly beautiful um, zoo. I'm not sure about this um, with all these gharials, but that when they grow up, I mean, we'll have loads to sell, I suppose. Um, but it, other than that, yeah, um, everything's looking nice and golden. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you all on the flippity flip and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Bye bye, bye bye and bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.